Dwayne Johnson joins Disney again after the game plan, also directed by Andy Fickman in Race to Witch Mountain. A remake of the 1975 Disney film Escape to Witch Mountain, in which they already adapted in 1995, which is based on the novel of the same name. <sighs> I actually have no experience with the novel or the previous films and this was a first time watch for me of the 2009 version so here are my thoughts. I must admit that I got so far with this film and then I gave up. A week later I decided to brave watching the last 30 minutes in hope that it, it might just, it might just have got better and how I was wrong. I just sat there thinking I would have been better off never coming back to this film. I felt so deflated when I finished this. For a children's movie, it's incredibly bland. There is no sense of adventure. When we do get a glimpse of all the adventure and, you know, where, where aliens and adventures happening, it, it's blatantly obvious that it is a movie set and the explosions are pyrotechnics. It's really not the greatest form of escapism when you can tell it isn't real. There never really seems to be any sense of risk either. We have a bad guy alien in which the filmmakers are making Predator accessible to children very blandly. Well, he's wearing a similar suit anyway. Then we have a bad guy human played very blandly by Kieran Hines in a man in black suit character. It's like the only thing that really kept me watching were the performances from the children, Hunger Games' Alexander Ludwig and the Carrie Diaries' Anna Sophia Robb. They, they were very appealing and, you know, to say that these are kids as well, they, well, teenagers, they, they had something about themselves. It was really just impressive to watch. I almost became like that proud mother. And then you had Dwayne Johnson playing the reluctant hero rather than the more willing hero. And I found that really refreshing to watch uh, Dwayne Johnson play that type of role because usually he is I am the hero here to save the day, here are my muscles. So it was a refreshing take. It's funny that the film should be called Race to Witch Mountain as it was one hell of a slow race. Be sure to like the video, comment down in the box below with your thoughts and feelings on Race to Witch Mountain and don't forget to check out other reviews from the 31 Days of Dwayne Johnson.